Hello everyone, I'm Marcelo and in this tutorial we will learn how we can share information, share values between workflows in YPath using arguments. So before starting this video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and also if you like this video, give a thumbs up to help the channel to grow and reach more people. So let's get started. So let's start here on the project panel by adding a new workflow to our project. So here let's do a right click and let's select here sequence to create a sequence workflow. So we can here change the name if we want. So let's just create it. So now uh, we got our workflow created. So now we have the main workflow. It's the main and then we have here the sequence. So uh, let's start by learn how we can provide a value to our sequence workflow from the main workflow. So here on the main workflow, uh, let's use an assign activity to create a variable and define a value to the variable. And so this value that we will define, we will try to provide this value to our new sequence workflow. So here, let's create the variable str info. And here, let's just add inside the double quotes, just some text. So make sure this variable is of type string. And now uh, what we will do, we will invoke our new sequence. So to invoke it easily here on the main workflow, we just have to drag here our sequence workflow. And as we can see, it's being booked here after the assign. So how we can now provide the information inside of this variable to our sequence workflow? We will use arguments. So arguments allows us to share values between workflows, basically. So we need to create an argument inside of our workflow that will receive so uh, the information that is stored on this variable. So to create an argument on our sequence workflow, first let's access it. And then here on arguments, we open the arguments panel and here we can create the arguments. So let's click here on create argument and create the arguments in str info and now here very important directions so here we define the direction of the arguments so for example if we define in that means that the argument is supposed to receive a value from uh, in our case the main workflow if we define out this uh, argument it's supposed to give a value outside of the sequence workflow. So that means uh, give a value, uh, share a value to our uh, main. And in out means the two things, uh, share and receive a value. So let's see on practice how it works. So it will be more easy to understand. So now if we save our sequence workflow after create arguments, so it's important to save first. And now uh, if we access to the main, we can see that if we click on import arguments, appears now our new argument created on the sequence workflow. So here we can provide the information uh, to our arguments. So it will store, in our case, the value inside of power variable strinf. So by this way, it will be given the information to the arguments. So let's click on OK. Let's save and now to see if it's working, let's use here a message box on our sequence workflow to see so the value of our argument, to see if it has the value of our variable. So let's call the argument and now let's run our project from the main. So let's run it. And as we can see, the argument received the value from our variable that it's declared on the main workflow. 
So now let's see how we can provide the value from the sequence workflow to our main. So let's create another argument. Now let's define it out. So that means that we will give a value for out of this uh, sequence. So here direction out. And now uh, let's just here finish to define the name str text for example it's just to test so now uh, let's define a value to this argument so let's use a sign and let's call the argument that we have created now and let's here define the text uh, for example just some info for the main workflow so, uh, make sure you save here and now if we go again to our main and if you click on import arguments, we can see here our new argument of type uh, out direction. So that means that it will give information in our case for our main workflow. So let's create here a variable to store the information given for the arguments. So let's use control key and create the variable str outside if. So let's click on enter to create. Let's click on OK and let's see a message box to see if we got the value from the argument. So let's here call the variable that will receive the information, the value from the out uh, argument. And now let's execute our project again. So first we got here uh, the message box that displays the value from the argument in str info that receives the information from this variable. And now after a click on OK, we should see a message box displaying uh, the information stored on this variable. And so the information, the text should be this one of this argument. And as we can see, the argument of out direction provided the information, the value to our main workflow. Now to finish, let's see how it works the in out uh, direction. So here on the sequence workflow, let's create another argument with the name, for example, str in out just to distinguish easily and now here on the direction let's select in out so this argument can receive and then provide a value to our main workflow so let's say let's access again our uh, main workflow and click here on import arguments and here we can see the new argument so let's provide here the same variable str info to this argument And so uh, first, uh, this variable will provide the information that it stores to this argument. So this argument will receive this value. And then when uh, the execution of this sequence workflow finishes, it will retrieve uh, the value that it has, this argument, to this variable. So what we will do now? Here on the sequence, let's change the value of this argument. So let's use another assign. And let's assign the value of this new argument. And now here, let's here define the text change value, for example. So to see uh, the value that this argument has at first, let's here use the message box. And so we will see the value of this argument first and then to see uh, the value after the execution of this sequence, to see the value of this variable that at first has this information, let's use a message box to display the value of the variable. So what will happen? Basically first, this variable will provide this value to this argument and we will see the value here on the message box and then we will change the information the value stored by this argument 
and because it is also out direction it will retrieve the new value to our variable and we will see this value on this message box so let's run again the project from the main and first we can see the information of our in out argument let's click on ok and as we can see on our second message box we can see that we got uh, changed information so because here we changed the information of our in out argument when this uh, workflow uh, is finished so when the execution is done it will retrieve so the new value to this variable and we see it here on this message box so if you like this video give a thumbs up so it really helps the channel to grow and to reach to more people and also subscribe to the channel so we can track more easily the content that i launch every week here on the channel so now I leave here on the screen a playlist with Wipepad tutorials. So if you want to learn more about Wipepad, I suggest click on the playlist and see the tutorials.